because it's so well written. Till today, that novel is one of the best selling. My daughter is nine years old. She's reading that novel. So you know how interesting that novel is. So I think uh, the way my character is written, it was uh, so very clearly written. You will even understand what he's thinking, not just what he's talking, but even what he's thinking is well written in the book. So I just have to read the book multiple times to understand the character better. And after that, I had Mani sir to help me. And of course, I read a little bit of history also to understand 10th century. Otherwise, I think every day in the spot, it's preparing with the director. Mani sir knows exactly what he wants from my character. Because he has to be funny sometimes. And the character is a comedy. You know, mostly historical characters are serious. But the character is a comedy. So, the blend was a little challenging. But I had Mani sir to help me out. 40 to 30 percent is real. The main incidents in the movie is actually real. And uh, interestingly, when the book was written, uh, Kalki sir had a friend called uh, Nilakanta Shastri, who is a historian. So as and when he got information about the Chola dynasty, he shared it with him. He was writing his own historical book. But same information was used in this novel also. So, so many characters are real. Like Vandit Devan actually married Kundavai the princess. But we don't know much about Vandit Devan. But in the book, this character is there. So it's fictionalized. But this man lived. This man's name is written in Tanjavur temple, which was built thousand years back. So there is fiction and uh, you know, reality blended together. That's why it's a very special, unique film. Kalki sir, you know, the author himself took care. He made sure all three are distributed. And Mani sir made sure all three of us are different. The way he has written each character, the way he made us uh, perform each character. Uh, so my character will be a little comical. So even my stunts will be like that. Sir's character will be like, you know, like a real warlord. And so his action or his performance will be entirely different. Ravi's will be, you know, uh, like almost like Zen, like a Buddha, but Buddha at war. <laughs> Imagine if Buddha was at war, how calm he'll be, even while he's fighting. So he made sure. This was the most difficult role, actually. Very difficult. If somebody falls sick, then the entire team has to go away. So constantly they have to replan the scenes. You cannot go as you had planned. And uh, Manisa particularly wanted to shoot in historical sites. So the permissions for the sites were very limited. They said only 100 people in a film crew can shoot. But our minimal crew was 500. Every day our minimal crew was 500. At maximum it went up to 10,000. So getting those permissions, making sure everybody is safe, especially when they are shooting in historical sites, it was really tough uh, getting there. And we were shooting in peak summer. I have never seen Manisa tired. First time I saw him tired. Because it was exhausting. Um, getting the stunt master from Thailand was again difficult. He had to fly down on permission. He had a 50 to 60 days of dates. So, entire 60 days we were shooting stunts. Normally, stunts will be spread out. We'll shoot one fight, then we'll shoot some scenes, and then we'll go back to stunts. But here, this time, we all of us had to do the war sequence or horse riding or running, everything in those crunched 50 days. If the COVID wasn't there, then it would have been much more relaxed. Uh, probably would have got in even better locations, but I think Manisa made sure he didn't compromise anywhere. Whatever was required was planned and executed. So that way we were happy that Manisa was able to achieve his vision for this film. You know, Manisa, when we were making the film, he said it should be like a Disney film, so children should also watch. Lord of the Rings also is a novel which was made into a film. So similarly, this also is a novel which is made into a film. And again, Lord of the Rings was written a long time back. And then Peter Jackson came and made it into a fantastic thing which the entire world watched. So I'm hoping this film also reaches across the world. <laughs> I'm not still an actor for him, so I feel like that even now. And uh, especially this film is Manisa's dream. So I can, every day I would see him being so happy like a child. When a child gets what he loves, how he will cherish it. I would see him really enjoying doing what he was doing. I've seen him maximum smiling and laughing in this set. Normally he'll be a little tense. But in this film, I think he was really enjoying making this film. And uh, I would, had a lot of time to talk to him. Not just about movies, but about my problems in life, personal life. <laughs> and he would always listen to me and answer me. So that way, I think I'm very blessed to have that, that rapport with uh, Mani sir. He's given me that, uh, you know, the chance to go close and speak to him. I'm very blessed. That.